Could you have gallstones? Hi, it's Dr. Fan here. Let's talk about the symptoms that suggest that you may have gallstones. The top symptoms of gallstones are 1. Upper abdominal pains, which are worse on the right side. 2. Pains worse after eating, especially fatty foods. 3. Pains that come and go and can last for hours. If you have these symptoms, then you may have gallstones. So what are gallstones anyway? Gallstones are stones that form in the gallbladder and most commonly due to high levels of cholesterol. The gallbladder is a little sac located between the liver and the duodenum, which is the beginning of the small bowel. The gallbladder contracts to release bile into the duodenum and help digest fats. When there are stones in the gallbladder blocking the flow of bile, the gallbladder distends and causes pain. This typically happens during eating and continues until the gallbladder stops contracting or the stone has moved out of its blocking position. So, what should you do if you think you have gallstones? You should see your doctor and get a blood test and ultrasound of your gallbladder. The ultrasound will confirm whether you have gallstones or not and the blood test will show if there are any other issues caused by the gallstones. If you have gallstones, you will be referred to a surgeon to discuss an operation to remove your gallbladder. But is surgery the only option? Not always. If you have uncomplicated gallstones, you may choose to treat the symptoms with pain relief as required. You may also try to change your diet and have low-fat foods to reduce the stimulation of your gallbladder. However, surgery is recommended for most people unless the risks of surgery are too high because of other health issues. The gallbladder itself is not essential to regular function. Most people will not have any long-term effects without a gallbladder. Occasionally, people may have pains when eating fatty foods due to having less bile to digest. Most people can have a keyhole operation, which we call laparoscopic cholecystectomy, to remove this gallbladder. This typically involves four small cuts on the belly, with the gallbladder being removed from one of these cuts. Are there risks to surgery? Yes, with any surgery there are risks. However, these are all uncommon. You will be given a general anaesthetic and in rare circumstances, you may have a bad reaction to that anaesthetic. With any keyhole surgery, there are risks of bleeding, infection and injury to your bowel or bladder. This again is uncommon. Occasionally, we cannot complete the operation through the keyholes and we need to make a larger incision in order to complete the operation as an open cholecystectomy. However, this is uncommon again. Specifically for this type of operation, there is a risk to injuring the bile duct which joins the liver to the duodenum. This occurs in about 3 in a 1000 operations and if it does happen, then you may need a larger operation to repair this injury. What can you expect after surgery? In most cases, you spend a night in hospital and go home the next day. If you are doing well, you can even go home the same day. You will not be allowed to drive for 24 hours after an anaesthetic but there are no other driving restrictions. We will ask you to take it easy for a few weeks and not strain yourself because this reduces the risks of you getting a hernia through one of our surgical incisions. Well, I hope that you have learned something new. Please like, subscribe, share and comment for more videos.